What's going on guys? This is Riggs and welcome back to another PUBG Mobile video. Update 1.7 is here. It has finally arrived. Many are saying one of the best updates that have ever come to the game. Except this one thing that has completely, it's just tainted the whole thing. And I'm hoping that Tens, we know Tencent's out there, they're lurking. They're lurking the channel, you guys. In case you didn't know, in my last in my last upload, I'll pin a card up at the top, breaking down more of the update. Uh, they did in fact comment. They they were they slid into the comment section, fam. So we know they're out there, and I'm really hoping they watch this video. And I'm hoping that it's not too late that the damage has not already been done. Okay, it's not too late for this. So a couple things I want to I want to break down real quick. There's one thing though that people are furious about, and that is this. This tab right here, and it has to do with the with the skins for season one, season two, season three, and season four. So not only can you get the skins from past seasons, you can even pick up the parachute. The biggest issue that, the biggest issue that I have with this is you shouldn't be able to buy you shouldn't be able to buy these skins. These were never available for purchase before. All right? But now they've brought them into the game and now no one no one technically knows as far as I know. I've even asked Tencent themselves about it. Uh, but these are called season tokens. I want to say they're going to arrive once cycle 1 season 3 drops. And as you rank up in your tier, you're going to be able to collect um, season tokens for Cycle 1 Season 3, and you'll be able to buy all these things inside this shop. The problem that I have with this, though, is this sets apart the people that were a part of this game from the very beginning. All right, we're talking the OGs. Uh, you know, this was never something you were able to buy. This was something you had to earn. So not only did you have to earn it through ranking, but you had you were part of one of the first people that helped push this game and elevate this game to where it is today. And if there's people, and I guarantee you, there's not many people out there barking saying, you know what Tencent, I know I just started playing the game two weeks ago, but I think it's only fair that, I, uh, that I'm able to purchase the season one combat jacket and combat pants and even the ace parachute this is <clears throat> being able to buy an ace parachute that's like being able to buy like the trophy at a competition that or a tournament that you were never in imagine like it means nothing if you can just purchase a, a, a trophy from a tournament knowing you didn't even play or participate in that tournament, but you can buy the trophy and put it up on your mantle, does that, that doesn't seem fair. This separates the OGs. I highly doubt there was many people, not once, and I've even asked you guys, I've asked you guys in community tabs, I've asked you guys, because I still have an interview coming with Tencent, and then we've gotten over, I mean, three, four, five hundred questions Never once in any of those questions has someone ever said, we're talking never in live streams, never in videos, never anywhere, not on Twitter, Instagram, you get the idea. Nowhere has anybody ever mentioned, at least on any of the platforms I'm involved in or the people that I talk to, has anyone ever said, you know what, they should really, really bring back the season one through season four skins because I think I should be able to have them. Uh, so I really want to get you guys this feedback on this. I'm really hoping that PUBG watches this video. I'm hoping Tencent watches this video and they can read. I, I don't want you guys to be nasty. I don't want you guys to say, you know, all these horrible things. Give some, give some constructive criticism. Let them know how you guys truly feel about this without being toxic. Um, who knows? Maybe there's a couple, out, couple of you out there that actually agree with this. Um, what I would say is a horrible decision. You should never be able to buy a skin in this game that was never available for purchase before. Unless you played the game in cycle one, or excuse me, unless you played the game in season one, 
you shouldn't be able to get you shouldn't be able to wear the season one clothes um same thing like the season two like all this stuff is super super og the people who the people who have these skins in their inventory it really shows time in grade you know what i'm saying it, it, it just it just it's it separates the people that were a part of this game from the begin from the inception of pubg mobile uh, anyway, I think I've ranted long enough. I, I you know, I, I really want to get your guys' feedback on this one. One thing I never thought that they would do, okay, and we're gonna, it's almost foreshadowing. I mean, I almost want to say, I almost predicted this. I mean, literally. We, I said in a couple videos ago that there's a lot of competition out there for PUBG Mobile, all right? And we knew that for PUBG Mobile fans out there, the game was only going to continue to get better, right? One of the things that they have done that I never thought Tencent would ever do is reduce the prices of the crates. And not just reduce the prices. We're talking 50%. The premium crates to open up 10, like a, a couple days ago, and the three years before that, was 1080 UC. You know what it is now? 540. But wait, there's more. Classic crates have been reduced even more. These also used to be uh, 1080 UC for the classic crates. Now it's 480 UC. I, mind absolutely blown. They're doing all the right things. I don't know how long this has been <coughs> floating around. But being able to get legendaries and mythics using like the G coins or whatever. I, I want to say this has been there. I just don't usually get a lot of the G coins. So I don't like open up the crates. Um, but they're on the right track. Again, they're doing all the things that we want them to do. Except one, except one thing. All right. Another thing that a lot of people are hitting me up about. Um, but I just want to give you guys kind of like an update. And that has to do, this is under the treasures tab. Rest assured, fam, the uh, premium and the classic crate coupon scraps are still available. There's like a little transition between, um, you know, the old update and the new one. It was kind of like where everyone was kind of like stuck in the middle where the coupon uh, scraps went away. They weren't available for purchase using BP. Uh, people were outraged about it, but it's just because the people were kind of like stuck in the middle between the updates. Rest assured they're here. And not only that, instead of being a uh, hundred silver frags for um, for five scraps, it's only 50 silver frags for five scraps. Not only did they lower the price of the UC for the, for the crates, but they've also lowered the price of the BP it costs to buy these. So really, really cool. These are all the good things that came with update. The Kindy, Metro Royale. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, Survive Till Dawn, Runic Power. Now they're gonna be all on a rotation and permanently in the game. We give them, uh, this is almost the best update ever, except that season tab. I really hope, again, I don't think it's fair to change it. As far as I know, nobody has season tokens. I really hope that they they replace, replace it with someone else. Put some mythics in there, like use like mythics or legendaries that were like fan favorites from before. Put those in that slot but instead of making it available for purchase with UC, make it to where we get season coins and maybe you can get a mythic skin. You know, I mean, that's just one of many ideas uh, that they could do to, you know, remedy this situation. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, it'll help more people see the video. Uh, we can't hit 100,000 subscribers unless you guys hit that subscribe button. So I'd really appreciate it. But until the very next one, this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.